Oh, you guys are already here. Sorry, I might have just been lounging like a couch potato, getting ready to read the couch potato with all of you. So snuggle up with a grown up, get all cozy, maybe with a lovey or a stuffed animal, because we're gonna read the couch potato. And remember, we're reading stories by Jory John and Pete Oswald as we get ready for our literacy night because March is Read Across America. Let's get ready to read the couch potato. I am a potato, not a small potato like my brother, not a sweet potato like my mother, not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. Ah, why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. Hmm. Do you have a comfy spot at home that you like to snuggle up on? Like our couch potato here? See, I have this, a remote, and this, a yo-yo, and this, a remote control for a video game, and one of these, a ball paddle, and those, headphones, and this, popcorn, and that, a cap with juice and straws, and these, bunny slippers. Oh, and this, check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam, impressed? And I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. Am I good? Yeah. If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah, but wait. There's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What joy, what bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows, fries, Mad yams, mashed potatoes. These screens have all my unanswered messages. These screens are where I play video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best spud for life. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days, that's for sure. Hey, spuddy. Hey, pal, Tato. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? <sighs> yes, sirree, this is the life. At least that's what I thought until the other day. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. Whoosh. Woohoo! It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I had to do was plug it in and my room, nay, my kingdom would be complete. But suddenly, pew! Uh-oh. Do you know what pew might mean? I have a guess. Everything went dark. Look out. Coming through, whoops, oof, ow. Foom. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtains. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps, but no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. <laughs> Neat. I leaned against the tree. 
It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. <sighs> Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, and those colors, my goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. Wow, look at that sunset that he's experiencing with his dog Tater. That looks really beautiful. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch, phew, I had the button to brush my teeth. Scratch, 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 scratch. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas, bloop. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud. Then I noticed my reflection on one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies outside. We've started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. Look at all of these fun activities that he does with his friends, his buddies. What activities do you do with your friends that you enjoy? It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an enter entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be part of it in person. Apparently he's the captain of his ship too. Look at that. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. Ah. He wants to be comfortable, but look at Tater. Where does he want to go? That's right, outside. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did, The Couch Potato. Join me next week as we read another story by Joy John and Pete Oswald. See you guys later. Have a good night.